I'm back. Destination wedding photography. I have cheated a little bit. I'm in Ireland, but I did need a passport and I did in my flight. Roll the intro. Here we are, sunny Cork. I am in the hotel room. I'm getting ready to shoot Emar and Andrew's wedding. Really excited. They are very, very good friends of Ruth. They've got me out to Ireland to shoot. So here's a little bit about the weekend. So I flew out early Friday morning. Andrew picked me up from the airport, drove me down to this glamorous hotel. It's actually very nice. Um, I have a beautiful view of the harbor. Uh, went for a little walk in town, got a coffee, and then as I actually know the couple, I'll be going to the drinks tonight to have a beer with some of their guests who I've not seen for a while. So that'll be, and the couple of themselves. So that'll be really nice, quite looking forward to that. Tomorrow, over to get ready with the bridal party. Ruth Astor, who I film for a lot, you'll have seen on this channel, is a bridesmaid. So that keeps everything very informal. Uh, I know the group quite well. That keeps the pressure off and the communication very easy. So I'll be shooting with them while they get ready. We'll head to the venue probably about two, so a nice chilled morning. Hopefully get some breakfast and lunch before general wedding proceedings. So here we go, I'll chuck some stills over this and some clips of the day, but thank you to Ima and Andrew for having me, congratulations. Here we are the day after we got the fans. <laughs> Big fans. We are at an open water swim if you can call it that. This is, this is a hangover dip. What a day for it though. Delightful. There's the squad, full posse. Here we are then, day one, back at work, if you can call it that. Obviously, actual work. Today I'm filming Ruth, and we're gonna continue this vlog series and see if we can kind of pursue that to see what comes out of it. So off to the pool now, film with Ruth, um, quick jog with Sam O'Shea, and then, I don't know what's on after that, we haven't really made any plans past the pool, so hope to just follow Ruth around, see what she's up to, um, yeah bring you more of the content you've been enjoying. So there we are, it's very cold. What does the car say, 10 degrees? Not too keen on that. Still in shorts though, it's not that cold, obviously. Um, nothing else to report, I'll let you know how the day goes. Here he is. 
got coffees. About to go running. We've roped in John Boy for the run. I'm not putting him on the camera actually. <laughs> First bike ride in eight weeks. And after riding this shit, I think I might have a sense of humor failure. Just waiting for Dizzy. Back home, what a day. Rode in the rain, we just did 75 minutes in the end. It was actually not as horrific as I thought it might be. Then did some interviews just to get them done so we can do a few more YouTube videos for his channel, keep it ticking over um, into the next race, which is in hopefully three weeks time, four weeks time. Yeah, a bit of editing now um, and then back at it tomorrow gonna do a long ride with the guys um, just so I can get more footage for Ruth kind of keep this going nothing too crazy let's see what tomorrow brings let's hope it's raining a bit less and let's hope I don't completely get my head kicked in see you soon here we are good morning I was hoping to ride more today with Ruth but I've woken up and I sort of knew it yesterday but my wrist is so sore so I've gone back to the brace um, best to just wait a few weeks health comes over fitness unfortunately that is the decision that has to be made even though it sucks because all I want to do is ride my bike after eight weeks off but my bike will still be there when my wrist is healed that's what I'm telling myself it's a sad day Right, here we are, we're back. Pulled up on the side of a road, just flown the drone. The drone obviously jibbed out just as they arrived, so I had to bring it down and put it up again, which wasn't the most fun when I had the perfect shot lined up. But these things happen um, just as the rain hits, as you can see on the windscreen there. So that was well-timed. Got away with that one. They're gonna get wet. I'm in a dry car. I made the right decision that was made for me. Here we are then, filming done. Stop, stopped raining luckily, which is good. Just off out for a little trail run in Ilkley. Going up there, Ilkley Moor. Looks way smaller on the camera than it actually is. But yeah, just an hour, flush out, and then back for editing of the last few days' videos. So, I'll see you shortly.
<laughs> Driving reckon this was the route. Cheers, driver. Oh, don't fall over there. Cheers, driver. Thanks for that one. Not entirely sold on this one, but there we go. Needs must. This is a climb. Ooh. One handed bandit. Good work. What a view. Amazing place. into the moors. Amazing. So now I'm not running Valencia. This is exactly what this time of year is for for me. Just like, Easy trail runs, getting lost on the moors, exploring, no care about pace, don't mind stopping to take a few clips, oh, just so nice. So, although obviously, still the world's sweatiest human. Look at this for a path. Crazy. Not much running happening on this trail run. More of a trail survive. Oh no. Very muddy. Don't need more. Okay. Proper wilderness on the moors. Beautiful little path this. Swap from Milky Moor to Bingley Moor. And uh, just having a great time. Way less waterlogged. A little bit firmer, so there's some grip. Yeah, it's nice. Just took a bit of the K off. Maybe lost it there. Yes. Glad it's not raining, even though it's mega misty. It's quite cool. I think first temperature wise and to look at down with the kids and all that yeah look at this path it goes on for so long Ooh, what an actual road fire road same same Firm ground. Look at this. Woo. Wow. What an absolute joy. This is a dream. Off season, baby. That's showbiz. More risky running down than it is up on paths like this. You never quite get your footing really unsure where the path goes sometimes but there we go nice and slimy a few sheep and that coming for the journey British footpath and footpath. 
really a pass, but it looks half legit. Can it just go with it anyway? See where it ends up. They trail run. Yep, it's beautiful, wide, nasty trails. Really nice surface. Rich person says trail run. You end up on something like this. Ooh, turning dusted. That was fun. Did like 12k, it took me like an hour and a half. Quite the run. Oh, I'm not sure you call that running. But lovely to be out. Get home, clean up, done some editing. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon. <laughs>